First thing coming out early was just to get the, the women acclimated to the whole situation. Obviously, a lot of time zones to cover, uh, and, it, and it takes your body a little while to get acclimated to it, so that way you're just not fatigued the whole time. Uh, that typically takes two or three days, and we kind of got through that. Then it's just getting back into our boats because we had to ship the boats early, so we didn't have them at home to practice for about a week. So it's a bunch of just getting back into the routine, getting used to things um, so that we're racing and rowing at the level that we know we can. And tomorrow uh, begins what you've been preparing for all season, the first heats of the NCAA Rowing Championships. Some exciting first matchups on the first day. What, how do you expect this team to finish on the first day of the NCAA Rowing Championships? I expect them to go as fast as they can. Um, it's hard to say like where we're going to finish. I don't. I, I, our goal is to go as fast as we can, and if we do that, the results will be what they're supposed to be. Uh, obviously, at Varsity Eight, it's it's an interesting matchup since it's the Big Ten final plus the University of Central Florida. Uh, so there's obviously some good uh, competition going on there. Everybody knows each other, so I think that's going to be an interesting one. But truthfully, for all of us, it's all about execution and going as fast as we can down the course.